All praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wawra Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like. Pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters as well. The water to Yahweh Shai because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? So seeing that we are in some very, very dark and evil times, you know, things are going to get far worse, by the way. But seeing that we are in some dark and evil times, one thing that's going to get us through it is to have hope and to have faith and both of those things have to be given to us from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai you know it's not like you go throughout your life and then all of a sudden when you come into the truth boom you're given faith no you have faith you've had faith even before you came into this ministry and that's why you are currently in this ministry now because that faith was already in you Okay, so let's start with the book of um, Psalms 22, showing you that, you know, our belief and our measurement of belief was given to us even when we were babies. All right, Psalms 22 and 9. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast so even when we were babies we already had hope within us that was given to us from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and you know what even when we were in the womb we already had hope within us from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and that's beautiful so we can't brag or boast and think that what we are doing is of ourselves you may watch a brother and you may be inspired, which is good. But what you have to consider, ultimately, it's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that is allowing this man or that man to do this or to do that. To have this kind of spirit or to have that kind of spirit. His measurement of belief goes all the way back to when he was a baby and even before that. Okay, even when he was still in his mother's womb to the time that he came out of his mother's womb. Okay, speaking of myself as well, we've had hope, which ultimately um, feeds our faith, because hope and faith, they go hand in hand. Okay, they're like twin brothers, if you ask me. Okay, let's go to the book of Ephesians. Should I go there? Yeah, I'll do uh, Ephesians, because it lines up pretty good with Psalms 22. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8 For by grace are ye saved through faith And that not of yourselves It is the gift of the power Not of works lest any man should boast So the faith that we have It is a gift Okay And seeing that the faith That is within us Is a gift Alright um, We can't brag or boast and act as if it is of ourselves because it's not it's not because of how great we are okay it's not because of anything outside of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai has given us our hope and the faith that's within us going all the way back to when we were babies and before we were born at that okay so it's important that you know we keep growing because as we grow in this ministry, our faith grows because that seed of faith grows right along with us. All right. Let's touch on the book of Hebrews to go into what faith is. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report 
through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the power so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So let me stop there. So faith itself is the substance of things hoped for. So hope and faith go hand in hand. Now I just read in Psalms 22 and 9 how we had hope going all the way back to when we came out of our mother's womb and we were babies when we were little sucklings, right? Up until this point now in our adulthood as men, the faith that we have was already placed in us because it's a gift from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? You can't buy it. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. So hope and faith go hand in hand. Like I said, to me, they're like twin brothers or twin sisters, however you want to look at it. The evidence of things not seen. So the, the time that faith is to kick in, the time that hope is to kick in is in times where certain things may not seem evident. Things may not seem to be in your favor in that present moment. It may not be evident that you'll get through it, but through your hope and your faith, you'll get through it. Because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is with you. Okay? But let's go up to verse 4. By faith, Abel offered unto the power a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. He did what he was supposed to do. He didn't take matters into his own imagination and do what he felt was right. He sacrificed according to what the Lord uh, accepted. Okay? A more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Power testifying his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because the power had translated him. For before his translation he had his testimony, that he pleased the power. So you're seeing examples of righteous men who through faith allowed them to perform righteous works. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So that means if Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai didn't give you the gift, he didn't create you to please him. If he gave you the gift, that's because he created you to please him. All right? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the power must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So yeah, that's Yahweh. He is. Okay, without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. To go into faith some more. And ultimately, anyone who's carnal, they'll they'll never understand these scriptures like this, man. They'll they'll look at it as weird and you know, a waste of time. Yeah, I'll start at 7. I'll just read 7. It gets right to the point. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. So, the reason why we walk by faith and not by sight, when you go to Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if it's the evidence of things not seen, it has nothing to do with your sight. Faith and things that you see before you that, that has nothing to do with each other. Faith is based upon things you don't see. Okay? That's why when you have faith, you have to be able to walk by faith and not by sight. That's what a man does. And that's hard to, to master. But the thing is, if you've been given the seed of faith, you have the ability for that seed to grow. But it has to be already given to you. 
So anyone who doesn't have faith, okay, is really a, a curse unto them. So we have to make sure we have faith. Let's stay in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Mashiach, how that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobate. So we have to examine ourselves and make sure that we have faith. We have to make sure that even when things don't seem according to our eyesight, they don't seem you know, to work in our favor. We have to have the spirit of faith and hope to be encouraged into knowing that we'll, we'll get through it. And that's why when famine comes, when evil is all throughout the earth at an all time level, faith is going to be our eyesight. Our physical eyesight, things that we see before us, we can't let that shake us up. We have to keep faith and know that the Lord is not only with us, the Lord is behind everything, man. And if he's behind it all, and if he's with us, we should not worry and just know that he will deliver his men as he said he would do. And that's why we have to uh, hold on to our end of the bargain just like he's doing, okay? And a lot of our people, they don't have faith. So here in these last days, what's going to get us through is having faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that he will fight for you. And regardless of what, you know, difficult task seems to be set before you, that somehow, some way, you know, it's, it's something that you're going to get through. It's something that we are going to get through. So I'm going to go ahead and close it there. I'm going to give all thanks and praises unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Wa Rakakodash. Shalom.